as an architect, I think you are involved in, in the issue of resources very directly with how you use resources in what you build and uh, in how the things you build rely on the consumption of energy and other resources uh, as they exist. But I think for me, what's of particular concern in a way is, is the human resource factor in the way that I think primarily we make buildings for people, for people to live in, for people to work in. And uh, what effect architecture has on this, I think, is, is actually the most important. We really see our work as a, as a search and investigation for what kind of contributions we could make uh, to a, a society to develop. And part of that is, on, on one hand, maybe really extraordinary buildings that are singular moments of achievement, but on the other hand, also really uh, dealing with um, the more uh, mundane, if you like, uh, typologies of simply housing, living, uh, how, people, how people's worlds, uh, in a way, uh, evolve and, and develop, and how we can develop new prototypes for qualities uh, in those domains. Architecture can, can no longer exist without confronting the issue of sustainability. From the 10 years that I've, 12 years almost, that I've been working now uh, in China and building in China, there's really been a, a fairly dramatic, um, I think, shift of, of, of focus and awareness vis-a-vis -vis sustainability taking a, a greater and greater key role uh, in, in the projects you're doing and also in a, in a kind of awareness of the public. China is um, in a way fascinating because it's probably one of the fastest learning societies uh, that, I've, that I've experienced. It's capable of absorbing a, a new goal, a new uh, idea, I, I think in a much quicker way than, than Europe was um, where I grew up. And um, in, in, in that sense, the, the ability to, um, to, shift, to shift towards a different understanding of things could also uh, really have a, a great, great chance here. While I think the first wave of economic growth obviously brings about a, a focus on material prosperity uh, and material achievements where um, having these things is something incredibly important because nobody had them before and one wants to be seen to have them uh, at that point. I think uh, there will very quickly also be a maturing uh, in, that, in that process to see that uh, it's no longer uh, simply important how much you have but actually also the quality of what you have. You need to get people to want things. If people do not believe in the sense of it and if people cannot um, see uh, uh, sustainability as, in a way, almost a status symbol in, in itself. If it keeps on being overshadowed by other goals of achievements that a society propagates, uh, then, then it will always have a very difficult uh, place. So it, it cannot be seen as an expense, in a way, it has to be seen as an achievement.